Hey guys, welcome to Reddit Brew Espresso Shots. A quick little story you can watch while you're getting ready for work, while you're on lunch break, or if you're just bored. So let's jump into the Reddit story. Apparently it's not okay for me to eat meat while I'm babysitting my cousin for free. I have an uncle who I'm gonna call Hal. Hal is two years younger than me, so we pretty much grew up together. Hal is a good guy, but when it comes to his wife Cindy, the entitled mother in this story, he simply has no backbone. They have a six-year-old daughter and a nine-year-old son. Almost a year ago, Cindy decided that they were going to go vegan. It wasn't a discussion, it was a declaration. Their house was going animal free. Hal and the kids went along with it with no major protests, though Hal would still eat meat when he wasn't around her. This summer, they sent their son to camp for eight weeks. While he's gone, they wanted to take some time and go away for a week by themselves, so they asked me to watch my little cousin for a week. I adore her and already have six of my own kids living here, so fuck it. What's one more? Sure, she can stay the week. So they head off off to somewhere in Florida and I go about my babysitting duties. I want to make it clear that I completely understand and respect their dietary choices and I have been providing my little cousin with 100% vegan meals. Yesterday, I posted a picture to Instagram of a black bear steak I made for myself. Well, Cindy calls me flipping out on me for cooking meat while her daughter is under my roof, accusing me of trying to convert her back to a meat eater. She then tells me, not asks me, not to make any more meat until they get back and take their daughter home. I told her that she was being ridiculous and that while I was happy to feed her child vegan meals, I will not be told what I can and cannot eat in my own home. I'm making chicken fried venison with sausage gravy and biscuits for my girlfriend, kids, and myself for breakfast this morning. And I'm making my little cousin in blackberry oatmeal and a just egg omelet. Just egg is a vegan egg substitute with peppers, onions, and mushrooms. I'm gonna post a pic of our breakfast to Instagram and then turn my phone off because I'm an asshole now. OP is a legend. Not to mention, OP is being so respectful and amicable in respecting his niece's dietary needs. There are so many people who would not be going through such great lengths and would not be buying expensive vegan food, especially when they're babysitting for free. Like, lower your expectations, Cindy. Your demands are stupid. I can guarantee that they are not serving only only vegan food at the Sun Summer Camp. Sunny Boy is probably indulging on campfire hot dogs and marshmallows and is probably loving every minute of it. Dang it, now I want campfire food. Entitled mother almost kills me at her wedding because allergies aren't real. So this is a story my mom always used to tell me, seeing as it happened back when I was like two years old. At the time, I had two allergies, peanuts and tree nuts. When I was younger, I also had eggs and wheat. My mom had a work friend, EM, who was getting married and she invited pretty much everyone that worked at her office. And by invited, I mean told everyone to come. And that they had to bring gifts. My mom asked EM if the food at the wedding was not free for my sake, to which EM said yes. EM, ever since my mom has known her, always thought that allergies were just people being picky. No matter how much evidence you could show her that allergies are real, she just wouldn't take it. She often said that, if those kids need EpiPens just because they're so picky, then why doesn't my son have it when he eats broccoli? Not even lying, she said this. So because of this, my parents were skeptical and of course brought my two EpiPens to the wedding. At the time, everyone was snacking and eating the appetizers and I wanted to eat a tiny bit of the cake, which EM specifically said was not free to my parents. So I took a small bite and what do you know? Within seconds, I start absolutely wailing, seeing as I'm now having trouble breathing. And of course, EM walks up up to us as my mom is rushing to get my EpiPen out and says in the most triumphant tone, ha, see, he's just picky, that's all. I know that the cake has nuts in it. I just told you that it doesn't just to show 
you. And of course, as the ambulance is arriving, she says sarcastically, stop, stop. He's a faking picky child. If he needs to go to the hospital for being picky, then take my son as well. I kid you not, if this couldn't get any more ridiculous, EM lunges towards the paramedics and attempts to literally take me away from them. This was a futile attempt as people at the wedding ended up pinning her down. Then off I went to the hospital, my parents in tow. Here's the best part. Once her new husband saw this behavior, he annulled the marriage as well. Since all of her coworkers were there, she was fired from her job because her boss heard about the incident. Sweet, sweet karma. Update, last night I reminded my mom of this incident, so she looked the lady up on Facebook. We found out that she works at a nearby fast food chain. Maybe I should go check on her? We've read a story similar to this before, and I am just flabbergasted by how many people are out there that believe that allergies are fake. Warning, incoming rant. Why are there so many people who are completely inept when it comes to biology and science? Why do people not research things and instead just formulate half-baked opinions and believe that those half-baked opinions are completely true? It frustrates me to no end. In fact, it's my number one pet peeve. Fun fact, if you have the mindset that you're extremely intelligent and that you know everything and that everything you know is 100% true, it's actually more likely that you're extremely unintelligent because intelligent people know that there's always more to learn and that opinions, theories, knowledge can and do change. If every opposing thing that is said to you just falls on deaf ears, and the words, wow, I was never aware of that until you pointed it out to me, is never able to come out of your mouth, then I'm sorry, but you're stupid. Stubborn, closed-mindedness is stupidity. As the saying goes, when you're dead, you don't know that you're dead. It is painful only for others. It's the same when you're stupid. A good example, and if you guys want to laugh, look up Jaden Smith talking about philosophy. He labels himself as the greatest philosopher ever and completely believes that he is the greatest philosopher of all time, when in reality, his philosophy is merely just shower thoughts or like basic facts. But he refuses to believe anyone that tells him that you ain't actually that smart, bucko. Anyway, I'll stop being a cynic now. It's just so fun to be cynical. Where are my cynics at? <laughs> anyway, that is all from me today. I hope you enjoyed these two entitled parent stories. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate when you do, and I will see you in the next Reddit story. Bye!